Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is that you're basically watching this video. Look, it might go for about, I don't know, four to six minutes, but I think you're going to learn a little bit about the ice cream industry here. And you know who else you're going to learn from, ice cream industry-wise? Turnkey parlor, or as I say in American, turnkey parlor. Used machines, new machines, dipping cabinets, soft serve machines. Uh, they've got a lot of good training videos as well, turnkeyparlor.com or freezerplanet.com. The link's down below, and if you ever get to chit-chat with Neil, you tell him that I said hello. Okay, so we get a lot of questions about upright freezers, chest freezers, can you use a chest freezer, should you use a chest freezer, pros and cons between the two, that's what we're tackling in this episode. Here you have your standard upright freezer. Uh, now you may, when you're looking at a website, uh, whether it be the manufacturer's website or a reseller's website, you may get a couple of options. One of them is where the refrigeration system is down below, a little bit more um, efficient uh, to manufacture, a little bit more cheaper. You can get it so that that compressor and all of the refrigeration system is up the top, a little bit more expensive but yet there you've got the uh, extraction of warm air that goes straight up rather than from the bottom. So you can kind of talk pros and cons about whether you buy a uh, freezer or a fridge that has top refrigeration or bottom refrigeration. Talk to the manufacturer, that's generally the two options that you get them in. And look, the nice thing about them is they're convenient space-wise. So they don't take up a lot of floor space. You're obviously use, using your vertical lift meaning that I've got optionally the opportunity to be able to stack my mix, stack ice cream products in here. Uh, I can access them really easily, organize it easily. They really are very good. That's why they're the mainstay for the food service and the restaurant business. Some of the problems that you can get with them, obviously when you're opening up this whole door, unless it's a blast freezer or unless you have any internal doors, you're losing a lot of coolant or a lot of cold air coming out every time you open up one of these doors. I will say that probably um, the compressors work a little bit harder in these units. So you may find that over time, these may fail a little bit more than perhaps a chest freezer. From a, a food service standpoint, nearly every restaurant you go in is going to have some form of upright fridge or upright freezer. Now, let's talk a little bit about your chest freezers. Okay, so chest freezers. Look, I think chest freezers have their place in the frozen dessert world. The one thing I like about this chest freezer, it's a Frigidaire, I don't know what cubic feet is, but it's a pretty big one. Um, and I can put a lot of ice cream in here. Um, my temperature is relatively consistent because hot air rises, cold air lowers. And so what ends up happening is even when you open up the lid, your products stay a little bit more uh, consistently frozen in here. Downside, creaky lids. Just joking, that's my lid. Downside is that relatively hard to kind of get into. I like, at the end of the day, putting a whole lot of pints in here. If I'm in a busy and I've got things going on here, I just kind of throw things in my chest freezer. Well and good, but when I'm trying to find that one pint of Vegemite ice cream and it's below all of the butter pecans and the uh, black raspberry cheesecakes and the birthday cakes, it's hard to be able to delve down into. You'll also find that they don't have a lot or it's not as accurate on the thermostat tweaking as the uprights. I have seen some people use chest freezers as their dipping cabinets. Not a huge fan only because those same people generally are the ones that have to pull the buckets out and basically wait for them to temper up before they can scoop because that's just holding the product way too cold. So I like them, particularly if you've got a high volume business, you need to store a lot of ice cream and you have floor space to do it. If you have a catering process where you need some of these out, uh, basically storing your catering or wholesale stuff, I think they are very, very good. Uh, but there are some applications such as dipping cabinets 
cabinet use, organisational use, I think they fall down on. So your call, it really will come down to how often you need to get access to them, how many flavours you have in them, and floor space, really. I think you'll find that the chest freezers are a little bit less expensive, but again, the downside is that um, not a lot of temperature fluctuation um, and uh, very hard to kind of go through and sort out your ice creams in there. Interested in what you use? Do you use a blend of chest versus upright? Do you only use upright? Do you only use chest? Uh, let us know in the comments. We do read all the comments and we appreciate you leaving comments. I again want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Turnkey Parlor. And look, we, let me just, can I just, can I just break things down? Can I just hold things up a little bit? We're here for you. We're not just down here filming stuff willy-nilly. We want to help you. So if you've got a problem in your ice cream business, you want to get into the ice cream business, is there's a barrier stopping you from growing your business, drop us a line, leave something in the comments. We'll do a video on it. We'd love to do that. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.